great fan of the uh, breakaway fishing tackle page and um, I came across something that Dave Brown had put on there to do with um, using an earth rig and I got no idea what an earth rig was and so I thought well I'll pop in and see Mr Brown and um, he very kindly uh, not only told me what it was he actually showed me how to to make one and so um, I as a bit of fun put something on Facebook to say you know anyone know what this is and um, we had a little bit of banter you know various people were making various comments um, about uh, what on earth are you talking about and so on and so forth which was great fun um, and my f personal favourite was uh, someone who wrote something about um, Earth a Kit. Um, and so I thought, well, let's see if I can make one. So I decided I'd give it a go. So I bought some bits and bobs from the shop. So I'm not sure what these things are called. They might even be called earth rigs, I don't know. Um, but they've got a little uh, swivel on that spins round. Um, then the, this stuff called helicopter sleeving, which goes over all the clippy things so that you don't get snagged with your line. And then there's um, the clippy things themselves, which I think technically are called mini link quick change clips. Uh, I've got some £15 amnesia to make some snoods and I've got some £25 amnesia to make the long um, sort of rig body or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I had a go. And so you can see the helicopter sleeving over the mini clip with a weight at the bottom and you see the little swivelly swivel that goes, runs up and down and then it gets attached to the main line. Uh, and then the length of the of the the rig is as long as you want it. I mean I made mine about three feet because I wanted to have three snoods coming off it. If I was fly fishing I'd call those droppers and I've tied them on with a three turn water knot and so I've got three hooks on this earth rig and now I'm off to catch me some earths and you might ask yourself um, what do you need a kayak for then when um, there's no water there? Well, let me tell you, uh, there's no water there now, but um, when I come back, there will be a lot of water there. And so, as I can't yet walk on water, um, I need to have a kayak, some means of getting back. And so, the tide's coming in. So this is up at Melton on the River Deben. And the tide is coming in, and within about 15, 20 minutes, that's all gonna be covered. I mean, literally, 
first cast, um, I got a bass. Second cast, I got a bass. Um, on the earth rig, I was catching nothing. I was getting no bites of any description um, on the float fish rod. And that's pretty much the way it was. Um, some of them were coming on the the um, the very end um, uh, hook. Uh, I was catching nothing on the middle hook, um, but most of them were on the the hook that is nearest to the the weight. So, in other words, um, quite quite close to the bottom.
So I've taken my um, float off and I've put on a double pattern oster and because I was getting a bit bored I've, I had some squid so I put a couple of big bits of squid on and um, well we'll see what happens. So that's pretty much it. Um, I was fishing for about ooh, what uh, three, four hours, um, and then you know I ended up with a couple more small bass, um, and then it was time to head back. Um, there was uh, a lot of water um, and so I was really pleased that uh, I'd actually taken the kayak because um, that's the mooring boy that we're uh, going to be anchoring up to and then um, joy oh joy I've then got to get into the kayak and uh, paddle back to the shore because of course when we set out that was all mud wasn't it um, so what do I learn? What I've, what I've learned is that um, you can catch an awful lot of, of earths using an earth rig and uh, I've never used one before and I've, that's probably, given that it's what, mid-June, that's probably more bass than I've ever caught in the River Deben using any kind of method um, at this time of year. So um, I guess it works for all kinds of fish, um, but yeah. Good call Dave Brown and I'll be using that one again and you probably noticed that I put some little pop-ups on it um, after a little while just to try and keep it up in the water a little bit so it's almost like a washing line that goes from the bottom up a little bit so you're covering all the various depths that you can um, so yeah I'm off to get in my kayak and paddle back to the shore well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, you can subscribe to the Cracking Fish Gromit um, uh, YouTube channel and uh, see all kinds of other stuff that I've got up to. Well, enjoy.